Emotionally unstable people, school's making the job search that much harder, heavy lifting and hard hats, and all night long fiestas. I'm Travis Smith. And you spend too much time online. I'm Dana Lizette, and welcome to Mixed Signals. Our first story for the night, September 25th through October 2nd marks Banned Book Week, which serves to remind the public of all the books that have been banned throughout the ages because of their unorthodox material. Librarians everywhere are celebrating with displays featuring banned books and taking a stand against this practice. Some of the most famous banned books include The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, The Catcher in the Rye, the Harry Potter series, Lord of the Flies, and many more. Here at Mixed Signals, we support book banning in certain cases and would like to start with the Twilight Saga, Eat, Pray, Love, The Secret, Anything by Dickens, and the Oprah Book Club in its entirety. I would personally like to add Chicken Soup for the Easily Offended Soul. It's okay. It's just literature. Who reads anymore? And here is another step in the already difficult job search process. There have been some changes made to the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act, or FERPA. This guy? No, not Furby. FERPA. F-E-R-P-A. UHCL is making sure students have more paperwork to fill out. Students are required to complete a form so that instructors can be a reference for a job or grad school interview. This is a huge advancement over old practices. Giving the phone number of people that you know would only give a glowing reference. And now for a different sort of news on campus. The University of Houston Clear Lake is currently renovating the Arbor Building. It was originally built in 1968 and was called the Clear Lake Graduate Center. It joined, in 1974, it joined the Bayou Building as part of the official UHCL campus and was given its current name. As students that use the wonderful facilities here, we would like to see the time and money invested in the renovation of parking lots, maybe adding parking garages, upgrading the pond outside the Student Services Building into something more than a tiny swamp, and adding visible steps from the second floor to the third floor in the Bayou Building. situation. I've been there. I hope she makes it to class on time. And because college students need another reason to party, September is Hispanic History Month, and UHCL has gotten involved with several events, including presentations on important legislation such as the Dream Act, screenings of films and TV shows with Hispanic ties, and a Hispanic Heritage Month fiesta. Mixed Signals would like to suggest a Caucasian Heritage Month. Festivities could include lame parties with bad music and, te and a terrible dance-off, subpar rap battle and McDonald's eat-off showdown, and wearing your sunglasses indoors all month. Thank you for watching Mixed Signals. Check out the cave painting version of The Signal on newsstands now, or join the 21st century and check us out online at www.uhclthesignal.com. I'm Dana Lezek. And I'm Travis Smith, and that's the news you need to know. Just another perfect day, but before you know it's gone.